Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another first impressions video. I hope you all realize I'm pumping these out there, it's just back to back to back. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be giving you guys my first impressions, thoughts on the brand new, oh I guess it's a little old now, Rick and Morty collection from Glamlight. Yes, I purchased the entire collection, I said I wasn't going to, but here we are. <laughs> don't judge me so I went ahead and purchased the entire collection because you know the reality is I love the glam light formula and price wise the full collection is only $90 so I thought that that was actually a steal considering the amount of products that you get so for today's video I'm gonna be testing out every single product with the exception of one of the lip kits because I only have one lip so I did choose one that went best with this eye look so per usual, I'm gonna give you guys all of the product details I'll pop up some swatches so you can see what all the products look like and then we're gonna dive into this eye look and then I'll wrap things up with my first impressions thoughts. Fair warning, I didn't have my mic on while I was doing the eye look so I'm either gonna end up doing a voiceover or y'all are just gonna listen to some lovely music while I apply some eyeshadow so we'll see which way it goes. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into the product details. So... As you can tell, the eyeshadow palette is inspired by the Rick and Morty show. This is not something that I watch, so honestly, I can't tell you anything about the movie or the series because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to dive into uh, some of the specifics in terms of products. So the first thing we have is the Accelerated Time Lip Kit. This is the orange kit. And the description says... Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, Rick and Morty have created a holographic lip gloss formula that gives you an out of this world shine paired with a lip pencil to help shape the perfect look. The lip kit comes with a lip pencil as well as a lip gloss. And it retails for $14. The second lip kit in the collection, the purple lip kit, also retails for $14 and comes with a purple lip pencil and a purple lip gloss. Now, what I noticed is that none of the products actually have names to them, but on the front, the orange says Accelerated Time Lip Kit, and then the purple says Rick Hologram Lip Kit. So this is what the two lip kits look like. Next up, we have the Highlighter Trio. The description just says, let all the glow from the Rick and Morty X Glam Light Highlighter Trio set the vibes. You can use each shade on its own or swirl them together to create your own glow. The Lip Trio retails for $18. Next up, we have the Rick and Morty setting spray. This simply says, it looks like your new go-to setting spray has been invented. Our setting spray is an ultra-fine mist that primes, hydrates, sets, and refreshes your skin to have you ready for your next adventure. And the setting spray on its own retails for $15. And finally, and most exciting part of this collection is the Rick and Morty Glam Light 30 Shade Palette. So this palette has... 30 shades that consist of highly pigmented matte and shimmer shades that will have you looking interdimensional. The palette retails for $36 on its own and is vegan, cruelty free, and allergy tested, apparently. Now, all of the products in the collection are cruelty, and, cruelty free and vegan and have been made in China and they all have an 18 month shelf life. And like I said, you can purchase each of the products individually or you can purchase the entire collection for $90, which is a little bit cheaper than if you were to buy it individually. I believe the original value is $97. So now that we've gone through all of the products and you guys should have seen some swatches popping up in between, let's go ahead and dive into this eye shook. Eye shook. Let's go ahead and dive into this eye look. Baby, 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 baby,
So next up, we're going to go into the Rick and Morty Highlighter Trio. So because I'm not, I don't really got to leave my house today. Well, I do, but <laughs> we're going to use two of these shades. I'm going to put one on either side um, just so that we can see what the color looks like. So I'm going to first take Anomaly. Oh, it's pretty. That has a very strong pink purple and then flipping the brush over I'm taking Cosmos which is this shade here and just a friend I'm ready to ignite huh okay I thought one of these would be like a gold So this one is a really pink highlight. This one is really purple. And if you couldn't tell, I showed you guys that before I even swatched it. Yo, ignore my raggedy here. I will fix that at the end. And lastly, let's go into the lip palette. So it did come with two, two lip combos. I think I'm gonna do this purple one just because of the eye that we're going for today because the other option is this orange one which well hold up okay 
Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna do the purple. I will say, um, this felt a little dry, dragging it on my hand, so. Next to the girl in your sheets, do you ever think of me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at this. I did not exfoliate my lips, so this might be a little bit crusty. Uh, but next we're gonna go in with the lip. What is this even called? The lip gloss. So next we're gonna go in with the lip gloss. It doesn't really have a scent to it. I will say the doe foot is pretty small. Okay. This is gonna take forever. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, add some mascara, put a brush to my hair, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look and give you guys my final first impressions, thoughts on all of these products. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna do is test out the setting spray. What is this? Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is test out the setting spray. Now this does not on it say if it's mattifying or anything, so I'll have to check the description box, but it does say shake bottle well, hold eight to 10 inches away and mist face two to four times. So, shakey shakey. Uh, it smells like perfume. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whew. That was a bit much. Um, I'll admit that. But okay. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'll come back, show you guys the final look, and let's talk about all these products. Myself more than you ever did, and I know you can sell. Damn, I'm vibing with the new me. And if you got a problem, you can sue me. Oh, baby, now I'm going for it. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. And first, let me apologize for filming the eyeshadow application without any sound. That was my bad. And you know what? This is the first time since starting my channel that I've ever done that. So I'm, I'm gonna let myself slide on that one. I don't know what happened. I'm usually very meticulous when it comes to the audio and I'm usually always checking the audio levels when I'm filming. So I know what happened y'all, my apologies, but I hope you enjoyed the music that was playing whatever I choose for this. So y'all are really cute. <laughs> Let's talk about the products. So I'm gonna try to work my way backwards um, and talk about the products from this collection, starting with the Lip Duo. So I did go ahead and use the purple one from this collection. I will say that the pencil is okay. It's not the best lip liner that I had. It's a little bit dragging, so it tugs a little bit, so it's not the smoothest or the creamiest formula I've had either. This is also one of those that you have to continuously sharpen, which is a bit of a pain, but to be quite frank, I think that's how it keeps the price of this down. So I don't hate it, but it's definitely not my like, favorite lip formula. The lip gloss, I think the formula of this is nice, but this doe foot is too small, baby. This does not pick up any product. I don't know if you can really see, but there's barely any product on this, which meant that I was literally digging and back and digging and back trying to get this onto my lips. I wish that the applicator for this was just a little bit better, a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to pick up the product so there wasn't a constant back and forth to try to get this on the lip. Other than that though, I think the formula is nice. It's a little bit on the sticky side, but not uncomfortable. I will say it sinks into the lips really nice. So I'm not mad at this. I actually really like how this looked together. And this is something that I could see myself doing again. I am really interested to try the orange one from this collection because this is more up my speed. Uh, like the purple isn't one I'm gonna use much often, but this is definitely one that I think is more of my everyday kind of color story. So I'm excited to try that one out. The highlighter trio. This surprised me, but this was also because I used this without swatching it yet. So you guys will have seen swatches at the beginning of the video, but I use this without swatching. Now, what I find interesting about this is that these two shades are kinda too similar for my 
preference. So one is purple, one is pink. So this side is the pink side, this side is the purple side. I feel like they're so close that it was kind of unnecessary to have those two colors. I would have liked if one was a gold because I think it would have done something different. I didn't go in with this blue because just based on the color story that I have on my eyes, but I think that is the most different shade in here. And I wonder if you guys can even see the shifts really well. Like I don't have any artificial light, this is just natural light. Um, but yeah, I think the pink and the, and the purple are just too close that it's kind of hard to really, really tell the difference on the cheeks in my opinion. And lastly, the eyeshadow palette. Y'all, if nothing else, I am somebody that can admit when they are wrong. And my first impression of this palette was so wrong. I remember looking at this online and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just like Scooby-Doo, why are they doing this again? This, this is not that, y'all. Is it similar colors? Yes. But this is completely different. I will say that there's just a little bit more vibrance, a little bit more punch, a little bit more pigment to this. The colors here definitely, in my opinion, are a little bit more neon than what's in the Scooby-Doo collection. Overall though, I will say this is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The mattes perform like perfection. The shimmers are also really, really nice. Glamlight has to be one of my absolute favorite formulas just generally because I think they keep getting better and better and better. The one downside that I can potentially see from this palette is that this is a palette that has no neutral options. I typically like to have at least something that can give me a basic neutral look, but there are no neutral options here. This is the closest. These four shades are the closest to neutral, but as you can tell, there are no like brown shades. Um, in terms of the mattes, there's nothing that would really make this neutral. And I mean, this is an orange shimmer and this is a chartreuse shimmer, so it doesn't really give you any neutral options whatsoever. So if you're fine with that, I think you will like this. I think you get a really great amount of variety in this. So you have the blues, you have the greens, you have the purples, you have the pinks, you have the oranges. So you get a lot of variety in here and you get a lot of depth. I think that Glamlight is one of those brands that's similar to Blend Bunny. They make sure that you have enough depth that it works for everyone. I will say even the mattes I found to be pretty, pretty deep, pretty rich. There are no light-ish, almost pastel shades in here, but I do think that the mattes perform well enough that you can blend them out so you don't really have to have like a light pastel shade. But I can understand if you are a lighter complexion and you wanted something that was just a hair lighter in the matte category. But for me, I really, really enjoy this. Overall, oh, lastly, let's talk about the setting spray. I really like the setting spray in terms of, I can feel it drying down my face, which I guess makes sense because the second ingredient in here is alcohol. Even though on the packaging, it does not say that this is mattifying. So I was like, is this gonna be mattifying? But I feel like I can feel my skin tightening and I'm gonna assume that's from the alcohol in the setting spray. The spray is a little aggressive though. So you really have to go far out in order to spray it so it's not like soaking your face. And it does have a very strong fragrance scent. So if you, uh, not really into fragrance. I don't know if you will really like that because I did detect the fragrance. Now it's kind of gone, so it doesn't linger, but I did notice it. It was a very noticeable fragrance. And like I said, the sprayer is a bit aggressive, so something to be considering. Okay, that being said, overall, love. I love this collection, mainly because the price is right, but also the price is right and the products are quite quality. Like it's one thing to have a product that's reasonably priced, but the performance and the quality is trash. This gives me both in terms of the price is right and the performance and the quality is chef's kiss. Like I cannot underscore enough how much I love the Glam Light formula and how superb it is in all aspects in terms of the mattes as well as the shimmers. Glam Light has not dived into the multi-chrome indie space. So if that is a part of what you're looking for when it comes to indie shadows. You may not love Glamline, but I still think that they are worth checking out because their shimmers are spectacular. I cannot say more about this. Like, I don't know how else to put it. They're good. And for a collection this large to be less than $100, y'all, A plus, plus, Plus. So I'm really pleased in this. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you want to see me do more looks with this palette, let me know. Let me know what color combinations you think I should explore because I really, I really tried it with this one. I was like, we're just going to throw a bunch of stuff on the eyes. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see or if you'd like to see more from this palette. And that's it for me, guys. If you liked today's video, go ahead and hit that like button, like, comment, 
all of that engagement really, really helps the channel. And it lets me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm creating. If you haven't already done so, there is a big red button that's gonna pop up, well, a subscribe button somewhere on the screen. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll never miss out for me when I upload. There's also a little bell apparently that's supposed to let you know when I upload. I don't have an upload schedule, so um, I try to do every two days, every other day, depending on how much I have. And I am playing a little bit of catch up, so you will see more frequent videos from me because I, you know, I was traveling, your girl was living her best life. No, well, not really, I was struggling, <laughs> but I was traveling a lot and I was moving, so I didn't have a lot of time to put up content for you guys, but I am settled, I'm on it, I'm unpacked. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. So you guys can expect so much coming from me as I catch up on all of the new products that I have in my collection. Anyways, thanks guys, I really appreciate you so much more than you know, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.